Hi hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video, a brand new Blu-ray hunt on a gloriously sunny day. Yes, but it's not that warm out. No, I think they said that this weekend was supposed to be really warm. I think yesterday was about 15 centigrade. Today, there's a bit of a nip in the air out there. Uh, I think highs today of 13, 13 or 14 at the most, but now I'm starting to sound like a weatherman. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. So yes, it is Monday. Uh, there is a big release out today. Uh, there's also another release that I might get. And uh, we're going to head over to Canterbury. It is Bank Holiday Monday. I know, another one. How many more Bank Holidays have we got? I think we've only got one more, haven't we? August. Yeah. But uh, the shops should be open about half past nine. So um, before we get over there, I'll put you into receiver position and let's have a look at some lovely goodies that are out today. Okay, so I do have the list. Yes, it's not the note, it's the list. Uh, there are quite a few indicators out today as well. I don't know if it's the left indicator or the right indicator. <laughs> Some sods just don't even bother indicating. <laughs> Yes, um, I haven't jotted those down, but um, go over and have a look on blu-ray.com or, or have a look on Amazon. You can see what's coming out. Uh, so it's too many to mention, uh, but I have jotted some stuff down. Of course, the biggie, the absolute biggie this week, we're going cocaine hunting. That's right. Cocaine Bear is out today. I know. Really enjoyed that film. Hilarious film. Some great scenes in it. And uh, I'm looking forward to picking this up because it's got uh, an extended cut or a, a more ruthless cut in it. Yeah, so we've got that available on Blu-ray, which I believe may not come with a slip cover. I've seen a picture of it without a slip, but this could be the whole Megan HMV thing rearing its head again. You know, Megan wasn't with a slip. Uh, but it was in Morrison's and Asda. So you never know. Cocaine Bear Blu-ray may have a slipcover elsewhere. But we'll have a look in HMV anyway. Uh, also, we've got it on a lovely 4K. Uh, America hasn't even got Cocaine Bear on a 4K. I don't know why they haven't released it on 4K over there, but we've got it. Wow. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's, that's a definite pickup today. We also have... Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, uh, this is a, uh, a comedy starring Jennifer Saunders. I think da David Bradley's in it. Uh, we've got Judy Dench. It looks hilarious. I remember seeing the trailer for this ages ago. Um, it's about um, a geriatric uh, care home and uh, their antics and that. But there's some really hilarious scenes in that. So uh, I might pick that one up today, actually. Uh, um, what we got from 88 films, we have a bit of Chuck Norris. Everybody has to have a bit of Chuck Norris in their collection. Yes, we've got Code of Silence. Um, we also have some um, a title from Mubi called Close. Yeah, I watched the trailer for this because um, I was intrigued by the cover of Two Kids Running. And um, I don't think it's going to be my sort of thing. I think it's foreign. Um, and it looks just like a film about two annoying kids. So I'll probably leave that one. Uh, we do have one from 101 Films called Tell No One. That's exactly what Philip Schofield said. <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, we also have a new 4K release uh, starring Jerry Lewis. And that is The Nutty Professor. So yes, not the Eddie Murphy one. This is the original I don't know. I've never seen the film. Um, obviously, Jerry Lewis is kind of like the the, the original Jim Carrey in a way, but um, I don't know. I might I might have to watch this before before maybe buying it. Uh, but we do have a, a Wes Craven film out today as well called Deadly Blessing. Oh yes, baby. So uh, we'll go and have a look at that. And uh, so that's a little, just a very small list. I mean, it's only going to be a short Blu-ray hunt this week. Unlike next week. Next week, oh my God, I've taken the whole day off work. Especially to go Blu-ray hunting. Because like, bloody everything's out next week. We've got tons. There's at least five I'm going to pick up next week. Big titles as well. Yeah, so it's going to be a good one next week. Um, also, quickly before we go, um, just up for pre-order today is the new wave of film vaults. 
yeah, the film vault, the big hefty box sets with the big crystal, I wouldn't say crystal, glass things in them. <laughs> um, two of these were sent to me by the studio to review, uh, which uh, you can catch if you go back in quite a few videos. And um, yeah, so the new ones are Jaws. Uh, we have 2001, Shawshank Redemption and Apollo 13. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to go for the Jaws. I'm kind of like drawn to the Jaws and the Apollo 13 because they are two incredible films. Uh, that's not saying that 2001 and Shawshank isn't because they are as well. Uh, I don't know, I might even go for all of them. Who cares? Yeah, and um, they kind of split the releases a bit. So there's two, of, there's two out at the beginning of September, two out at the beginning of October. So they haven't released them all in one day, thank God. But it's still going to knock you back 100 quid a month for two months. Anyway, that's a little uh, selection there. So we are done with that lot. That's good. Right, okie dokie. Right, okay, we better get on the road. Um, I'm not going to have any problems with parking, I don't think, today. So uh, let's get over to Canterbury and uh, let's go to our first stop. Of course, it's got to be the mighty HMV. It's the first stop on everybody's Blu-ray hunt. Yes, let's go to HMV then. Yes, baby. Fantastic. Right, okay, so we are over here at Canterbury. Looks a bit overcast and a bit cloudy. Yeah, a bit shiffer, a bit cloudier shiffer. So uh, let's get into the town and let's go to our first stop, HMV. I've got my bag to pick some goodies up and then we'll shoot off to CEX and British Heart Foundation. Don't know what time the charity shop's open on a bank holiday. It's well, it's just coming up to 10 o'clock, so hopefully Rich Art Foundation will be open. But yeah, first stop, HMV. <laughs> it's definitely a lot emptier over here on a bank holiday Monday. Holy flipping moly. If this had been a weekday, it would have been quite packed along here. Okay, so let's go to our first stop then. There it is over there. HMV. Okay, on the new film section, we've got a couple of adverts here for Avatar Way of Water coming soon. Down here, we've got Alleluia. Yes, this looks good. Comes with a slipcover. Does look funny. £14.99. Judy Dench, got to pick that up. Jennifer Saunders, that looks fantastic. Comes in a slim case. Here is Cocaine Bear. Uh, unfortunately, no slipcover in HMV. £14.99. Does come in the standard 14mm case, so that's good. No eco crap. On the 4Ks here, here we have Cocaine Bear. It comes in one of these plastic wraps, so it keeps it, or the slipcover nice and uh, nice and crisp. Fantastic. So yes, that's that's a definite today. What else have we got? Uh, down here, we've got WrestleMania on Blu-ray. That's right. A new WrestleMania product. Product? What are you talking about, Paul? £19.99. And uh, we also have something called Inside Number 9. I take it this is something to do with Downing Street, you know, next to Number 10. So probably a lot of old crap going on in there as well. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. Uh, down here, what have we got? We have got Code of Silence with old Chucky Norris. Yes, on the 88 uh, Films label. Very nice slipcover, £16.99. It's got a kind of a goldy shimmery on the front. Goldy shimmery? Is that English? On the front, yeah. And here's Tell No One. That's right, it's the Philip Schofield story. <laughs> it's not really. 101 Films, £14.99. Yes, uh, let's put that back because I won't be picking that up. Uh, next to it, we have the three burials of... I can't pronounce the next bit. This is a Tommy Lee Jones production. I was going to pick this up a couple of weeks ago, actually. £14.99. So I might just grab it today. On the World Cinema section, here's the Weird Kids. Yes, it is close on the movie label. Yes, um... Yeah, I don't want to pick up a kid about a couple... A, a, a movie about a couple of weird kids playing up. I can smell even burgers or hot dogs. I think somebody's got a stool out. Anyway, <laughs> always attracted by food. <laughs> yes, I picked up a couple of things in HMV. Uh, three things I picked up. Happy with what I've got. Uh, yes, no slip cover for cocaine bear. It is a normal standard size ammo though, so we don't have to worry about eco cases. But uh, we will have a look down Asda 
uh, and maybe Morrison's on the one chance that they might have a slip cover, but maybe it doesn't come with one. Anyway, let's go to our next stop, CEX, followed by British Art Foundation. <laughs> Okay, so it seems that they've got part of the uh, pavement done. Okay, so let's go into our next stop down here through the fencing. Yep, let's pop into CEX. Okay, unfortunately, they don't have many 4Ks in this branch. We do have Anna for £8 with a near mint slip, so that's pretty good. We have that tatty Back to the Future box set with a big tear up the top. Look at that. Who's going to buy that? Who's going to want that? Yeah, that's going to just stay there. We've got a couple of 4Ks down here, including some Star Wars. And we've got Attack of the Clones there for £10 and Scream. Plus, we also have the Woman King. Um, that's pretty much it for the 4Ks. We've got some 3Ds there as well. Six cents. Arnie, uh, Arnie Sweaty Knickers. That's right. I was actually talking about this a couple of weeks ago. £10. Uh, we also have Avengers Age of Ultron. Was that £1.50 on Blu-ray with a slipcover? Uh, we also have some Abbott and Costello as well. What else have we got? We've got some American Horror Story. I love this series. I don't think they've released the last couple of seasons on Blu-ray. I'm currently watching this one now, um, Apocalypse, because I have not seen this series. And uh, this one comes with a slipcover. Fantastic. Uh, down here we got The Colour Out of Space with old Nicky Cage. I like that film. £8. And down here we got The Conjuring with uh, an absolute mint slipcover for £2. This is so mint. It is minty fresh with a, with a hint of mint. <laughs> also down here we got Final Destination 2 for £6. I think someone's got rid of all of their Final Destinations because guess what? Yeah, let me just pick them out for you. We've got Final Destination 3. That's the roller coaster one. Ah, yes, a horrible one, that one. Final Destination 5. Okay, we're getting there. And then we've got Final Destination 3D. Um, I can't remember. Is that the last one? Uh, and then we got the first one, Final Destination. So, yeah, Final Destination everywhere. Uh, here we have the Cornetto Trilogy, £8, all three films on Blu-ray. And along here we have Tango and Cash with old Sly Stallone and Kurt Russell. £8. I can't remember if I actually own that in the collection. Down here we have 13 Ghosts for £12. And uh, we also have the original Terminator with old Sweaty Knickers for £5. And we have a bit of Matthew McConaughey for Ra uh, Rain of Fire there. I do own that in the collection. And down here we have Space Truckers for £6. I've also got mine in a black case. Misery is in here, everywhere, £5. Um, I was going to pick this up, but I figured I'll just buy the 4K instead. Uh, we also have this thing called Nemesis, the complete, is it movies or the complete series? I've never heard of it. £10. Yeah. Uh, we also have this one called Nightmare Beach or something. I don't know. Uh, up here, what have we got up here? We've got Hot Fuzz there. We've got House of Gucci, yeah, for £4. Still haven't seen that. So uh, I might pick that up. Six items in CEX. They've got some good new stuff in. Okay, so let's go to our next stop. British Art Foundation. Okay, there never seems to be anything new in this British Art Foundation. It seems to be the same stuff. I would expect somebody to bring something in at some point, but it seems to be the same stuff week in, week out. So, yeah, that's not very good. So, uh, we'll move on, I think. Okay, I'm in the card shop. I need to get the auntie a birthday card. I need to get my dad a Mother's Day card. I've just seen one for my dad. I think... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, uh, do me. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Maybe not. No wonder the high streets are getting empty and no one's shopping in any shops. I mean, who wants to go into Ayrton and Orothy Ayrton's? Right, okay, before we hit our next stop, it's time for a coffee. That's right, pop in a Costa, get a coffee and maybe a sandwich. What do I want? Don't really want a pork sausage bat or a roasty or a classic toasty or something. I think I just go for a sandwich, BLT, egg mayo, Wiltshire ham. 
Yeah, that looks nice. How much is it? £4.50 for a sandwich. Holy flipping Nora. Okay, so out of the town. I uh, did get my coffee. Got my lovely latte uh, with soya and decaf. Uh, and also got a sandwich as well, as you saw there. £4.50 for a sandwich. I want to talk a little bit about Costa in a minute. Uh, but we are done in the town here. Um, I picked up nine titles. What is going on? Nine titles. Uh, mixture of brand new releases and CEX. CEX, surprisingly that CEX, because it's usually pretty crap, had some really interesting titles in and some ones that are kind of a little bit more hard to get hold of. Uh, maybe one or two that are out of print. But we'll talk about that at the end of the video. For now, though, we're going to go to our next stop, which is going to be as That's right, we're going to Asda. Uh, now, it is quarter past 11 on a Monday. I don't anticipate anything new being on the shelf because you know what they're like. They don't start stacking the shelf until about half three in the afternoon. <laughs> so we're going to have a look at though, going to have a look at the stuff that came in last week. There might be some, you know, straight to DVD crap, you know, um, shark versus ant or some shit like that <laughs> for five quid. But we go and have a look anyway. And um, I might make one stop at Morrison's on the way back. Um, because do you remember when we went hunting for Megan and I couldn't find it with a slip cover? And I actually picked it up for Mar Morrison's. It had Morrison's, one copy in Morrison's in Dover with a slip cover. And that's where I picked it up. So we'll have a look uh, and see if they've got um, a cocaine bear. But uh, yeah, whether or not it really does come with a slip cover for Blu-ray, nobody knows yet. But anyway, let's get on the road. Let's get down to Asda. And let's go and have a look and see what shit they've got. Not literally. <laughs> okay, so we are down here at Asda. We're going to go in in a minute. Uh, the wind's getting up, and that's not just me. <laughs> it's getting really windy, and it's not really blue sky sunshine. Yeah, it's um, yeah, not as warm as they said it was going to be. Maybe it's just down here on the coast, you know, because we get lots of lovely sea air. Right, okay, first of all, um, Costa. Now, I've got my large decaf soya latte, which I love. Oh, yes, baby. Definitely. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I also picked up a sandwich. And I decided to get the British Wiltshire ham, what is it? Mature cheddar and pickle. £4.50 for a sandwich. Yeah, so both the coffee and the sandwich came to about £7.65. That's a lot of money. <laughs> That's a lot of money for, for a sandwich and a coffee. Holy crap. Yes. I know you can go into Tesco's and you can get you know, like a meal deal for £3 or £3.50. You get a sandwich, a drink, a cold drink, and also a packet of crisps or a chocolate bar for, a, yeah, three quid or four quid. Um, you're not going to get coffee, you know, anywhere else. Uh, even though they do have, like, the, the, the cost of outlets inside the supermarkets. But you have to pay separately for that. It's not included in a meal deal. Um, one thing that Costa got right, though, their branding. Yeah. It's a, you don't go to Starbucks and buy a coffee and a, and a sandwich and say, that's Starbucks a lot. But here, that cost a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe it was intentional. Maybe it wasn't intentional, but it gets people talking about it. You know, how many times have you heard people say, yeah, that's why they're called Costa, because it costs a lot. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm happy anyway. I've got my coffee and my, and my sandwich on Bank Holiday Monday. I did get two um, greetings cards. Do we call them greetings cards these days? I don't know. Uh, because I've got two two things coming up this month. So I picked up, don't worry, neither of them watched the video. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've got a birthday wishes for me auntie, which is a nice little afternoon tea. 
uh, and inside uh, it just has a nice little bit like that yeah that's fab and that was 99p so i haven't gone too cheap today i haven't gone for 25p card and then i was looking for a father's day card as it's this month and i found this one as well here uh, this says uh, to a brilliant dad from your son it says five star father brilliant parenthood 10 out of 10 would recommend just to let you know you've been uh, given a five star rating by google which just goes to show that being awesome runs in the family. <laughs> I figured I'd get that. £1.69. Yeah, I suppose that's not too bad. So that's a couple of uh, couple of cards anyway. Um, I, I didn't bother getting the one about farts because my dad does fart a lot. And sometimes they are pretty whiffy. But uh, I figured, no, I won't get that one because he might be <laughs> pissed off with it. Anyway, so uh, that's the cards. Um, I, as I say, I picked up nine titles today. I picked so far we ain't even done yet i picked up three in hmv so that means i picked up six in cex because i can add up <laughs> i picked up six i had no intention of picking anything up in cex but it looks like somebody's just offloaded a lot of a lot of stuff and there was a couple of stuff that i'm interested in a couple of stuff that i talked about a while ago that i hadn't got in the collection um, and I had a £56, £52, £52 voucher uh, because I traded a lot of 4Ks in a couple of days ago for like doubles, you know, like I've got the, um, what have I, I got the Steelbook tins, like the Superman and um, some of the other tins, the Jurassic World tin. So I got rid of a couple of Jurassic World 4Ks. Um, I did put them up for sale on the Big Paulie Chat and Movies and Facebook page, but um only a few went so what else there was i just traded in and got some got some got some wonder got some wad what do you call it wonga got some wonga yeah <laughs> oh dear me right. okay so let's go into asda let's go and have a look see what they got i'm gonna eat my sandwich when we come out um i don't i better drink it first actually i'm not gonna rush i'm not gonna rush so we'll go into asda in a minute and we'll go and have a look. Like I say, it's half past 11. It's very doubtful that there'll be anything on the shelf. So don't expect new stuff on the shelf. Um, but there might be some interesting stuff from last week. Like I say, octopus versus spider or some shit like that. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a minute in Asda. Okay, so let's pop in the Asda. It's fucking windy today. Blimey. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Actually, I was quite surprised actually. 10 to 12. It's 10 to 12. The woman's actually stuck in the shelf. Fantastic. There she is. What a good girl stuck in the shelves. Anyway, we've got Cocaine Bear without a slip there. And we've got WrestleMania for £19. There's Cocaine Bear DVD. What else have we got? We've got some WrestleMania. This is a really big lavish box set. Um, £19.99 for DVD box set. That's quite quite uh, expensive uh, we've got AE for Brady it's still a stupid title they did have this in HMV but I forgot to record stupid boy £10 on DVD there uh, yeah, yeah look ape versus mecha ape <laughs> it was going to be something versus something yeah oh god that actually looks quite good I bet the CGI is actually shit anyway here's some 4Ks there's some uh, Top Gun 4Ks there £20 and £30 and what we've got uh, some of the new DVD ones up here, including Devil Beneath. That looks like a critter up the top there. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, it looks a bit scary. Seven pounds. Uh, have we got anything else up here? Yes, we have. We have got Ice Storm Apocalypse from Bobby Dazzler Media. Another day after tomorrow. Five pounds on that one. They do have Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On oh, ten pounds on DVD. Plus Restart the Earth for seven pounds as well. Down here, look, 4K, Shawshanks, one copy, two copy, three copy. They must have so many copies upstairs, yeah. Uh, and over the side here, we've got lots of DVD box sets, Harry Potter. We've got Alfred Hitchcock. we got some carry-on there for £25, excellent price. Buck Rogers, Superman, Thor, Norman Wisdom. Uh, what else we got? We've got some Wurzel Gummidge and uh, the Hulk box set for 15 quid. Some Batman, Rising Damp. And some rather large ones down the bottom there, including Nolan. Right, okay, so out of Asda. That's getting really busy in there today, I suppose, being a bank holiday. 
Uh, maybe that's also the reason why the woman was stacking up shelves. Being a bank holiday, more people, more sales. Uh, whereas a regular day, they think, eh, no one's uh, no one's out, everyone's at work. But anyway, uh, there's a couple of uh, couple of good things in there. They had another load of Shawshank Redemption 4Ks for £7. Didn't pick any of this uh, up this time. Did have Cocaine Bear on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, no slip cover. So it's looking more likely that this just doesn't come with a slip. Um, but they also had the DVD as well. And Alleluia as well on DVD. I actually did pick two things up. I, I, do you know what? I had thought that I was going to go out today and maybe pick up two, three things at the most. I've got 11 things. What is going on? What is going on? Fantastic. Uh, I also picked up a couple of other bits and pieces for the home as well. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, happy with what I picked up. Well, of course, I'll show you when we get home. But we're going to do one more stop back to Dover, back to Morrison's. Uh, and we'll just check to see if there's a slip cover. I, I, I very highly doubt it. Um, seeing as though neither HMV or Asda have got one. So I don't think Morrison's are going to have one. But we'll check anyway. So yeah, let's get on the road. Next stop then, or last stop of the day, Morrison's in Dover. Okay, so we're back in Dover. So let's go to our last stop today. Morrison's. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything in. Where's the bloody media? Look at the, why is there so many gaps? Oh my God, what are they doing? Why is there so many gaps? <laughs> Dear Lord, what is going on? Yes, we are back. First of all, Morrison's, what are you doing? Where's the media gone? I think Megan was probably the last big release they had in a couple of weeks ago. It's just empty spaces everywhere. Seems like maybe Morrison's are on their way out, like Tesco's and Sainsbury's, which only leaves as the. And how long is that going to last? Oh, dearie me. Um, what's it like in your area? You know, what are your supermarkets? I take it no one has any media in Tesco's or Sainsbury's. But what are your Asda's and your, and your Morrison's like? Let me know. And more importantly, is there any physical media in Waitrose? <laughs> I doubt it. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, yeah, 11 titles. 11 titles picked up. Um, I am actually expecting another one from Amazon, um, That Thing You Do, yeah, on Blu-ray, uh, including the extended cut, so I'm looking forward to watching that. I picked that up for about 12 quid on Amazon. Uh, it should be here. Uh, it says by half past eight tonight on a bank holiday. <laughs> Amazon, they can deliver any time because it's courier. Uh, it is a Region A release, but it is Region 3, so uh, that's why I picked that up. Not that it really matters, but... Um, uh, there isn't an English release for that. I've also got some subscribe some subscriber mail downstairs, which will be a separate video as well. Oh, do you know what? It's quite a big haul this month that I'll be doing in a couple of days. Definitely quite a big haul. Yeah. But anyway, let's get into today, shall we? Right. First thing that I picked up. Uh, first of all, I've got a couple of DVDs, two DVDs. Yeah, I know. We're still picking up DVDs. Um, I, I picked this up, I just, I mean, I've seen this a few times in, in the store and I figured I love the Brad Pitt film and I've got to see what they've done. <laughs> this is Bullet Train Down. <laughs> yes, this is such a knockoff, such a knockoff. Explosive. Uh, this does star uh, the late, what's his name? Tom Sizemore. So uh, at least it's got somebody in it that we know. Oh, 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 I thought that was somebody else then. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be probably crap. It says on the back here, uh, on its super hype, hyped maiden run from LA to San Francisco, the world's fastest bullet train is rigged with a bomb that will explode if it dips below 200 miles an hour. A military veteran must find a way to defuse the bomb before it destroys all on board. Yeah, so it could be a bit of fun. It's a cross between bullet train and speed, isn't it, really? So uh, let's just undo it. 
I don't think it comes with any special features and it's only 86 minutes long. So um, that's easily done out on a, um, a late night crap DVD uh, episode at some point. Okay, so I bet we have artwork. We've got artwork on the disc. There we go. We have artwork on the disc. All these major studios like Sony and uh, and Disney and uh, and Paramount either give us silver discs or just put black or blue on it. Yet every single bloody DVD comes out with some bloody nice artwork. What is the matter with people? Just put some bloody artwork on a bleeding Blu-ray and a 4K disc. It's not that hard. If you could do it on a DVD, you could do it on everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's me having a that's me having a a, a disc art rant yeah uh nice and clean there we go so that's bullet train down so it's going to be a lot of old shit but <laughs> it might be entertaining shit who knows next up um like i said it was either going to be uh, a sausage versus bacon or ice cream versus strawberry um or it was going to be badger versus mouse <laughs> But no, we got Ape versus Mecha Ape. <laughs> yeah, and look at that. Godzilla versus Kong. In it. It is. It is. Yeah. Um, oh, they make these artworks look so good. They're so good. Do you remember the artwork for the Beaster Bunny? It looks so good, didn't it? It did. <laughs> and then I watched the film. <laughs> <laughs> and we know what happened with that. Holy shit, was that a bad film. Oh my God. That has got to be the worst film I have ever seen in my life. I still have nightmares of that. I wouldn't even call it CGI. It's just a very bad little puppet on a strip. Oh, I can't even talk about it. I can't even talk about it. Otherwise, I'm going to need therapy. <laughs> Vanda knows what I'm talking about. Oh my god, if you want to laugh, just watch it. Watch the Beast of Bunny. Just look at the artwork. Look at the artwork on the front of the DVD. Take it in. Take in the cruelness. Take in the evilness of the bunny rabbit. Then watch the film. <laughs> anyway, so on to the next one. Ape versus Mecha Ape. And um, that actually does look good. That looks really good. Looks very menacing. I wonder, it could be a lot of fun. This is obviously going to be a late night crap DVD movie. Uh, this one is 84 minutes. They're all about the same length. Uh, this one is uh, reorganising the destructive power of its cap uh, captive giant ape. The military makes its own battle-ready AI mecha ape. But its first practical test goes horribly wrong, leaving the military no choice but to release the imprisoned giant ape to stop the colossal robot before it destroys downtown Chicago. What's he got there? I think he's like grabbing a bus or a train or something. That could be fun. It could be fun. It's going to be shit, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay, so let's have a look. Again, again, we got some lovely artwork on the disc. Now, they put artwork on a disc for a film that can cost £3 or £5. We spend £25 on a 4K and sometimes don't get any artwork. I don't know where the logic is in that. Anyway, so that is Ape versus Mecha Ape. 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 Yeah. So that's the two DVDs. Again, both of those together. I mean, look at the artwork on that. They look great. They look fantastic. That's how they sucker you in, Paul. They pull you in with the impressive artwork. And then you have to watch two hours of shit. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, OK, let's move on to CEX. Uh, now, I had a £52 voucher. Like I said, I traded in some old 4Ks, you know, because I've got the stin... Stins? What's a stin? I have... Some of the steelbook tins, and like I have the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park steelbook tins, and I already had Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and I think the three pack, the the, the Jurassic the Jurassic three pack, 
and 4K. So I got rid of those. I shipped those out. So I'm not keeping everything, you know. I'm kind of like filtering a lot of stuff out. Well, not a lot of stuff, but try not to have too many of one movie. Uh, because I've got seven copies of The Force Awakens. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, OK, so next one. Uh, this one I was talking about a couple of weeks ago. I think I must have picked something up that had him in it, and I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I found this. The Sixth Sense. No, it's not. It's The Sixth Day. <laughs> it's The Sixth Day, yes. This is the cloning one, the one with uh, cloning Ar Auntie Arnie. Yes, this is from 2000. Collateral Damage. I picked up Collateral Damage in CEX. I think it was Folkestone. If you can hear any banging going on outside, it's gunfire and cannons. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, um, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, today, Monday, uh, is the World War II weekend at Dover Castle. Just doing everything World War II, recreating battles and um, firing cannons and machine guns and blowing up shit and all that kind of stuff. In a safe way, though. Yeah, <laughs> but in case you hear any loud bangs. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, well, I picked up collateral damage. So, and, and I said, I need to pick up the sixth day so finally got it and uh, it was £10 uh, so it might be an out of printer I'm not sure uh, but we do have some artwork on the disc there that's pretty good and uh, just a thicker print or two that's not too bad and there's a, a leaflet inside as well something about Project Awakening oh and actually some nice artwork inside the case fantastic Yeah, Jesus, that must be blowing people's eardrums out. Right, okay, there is the sixth day, so I'll pick that one up. Next one I picked up, um, I saw the original of this for the second time, I think, uh, from the Poundland bin uh, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a couple of months ago now, uh, and I've never seen the sequel, or I've never seen the second film. I don't know if it is a sequel or if it may be a prequel. You'll have to let me know in the in the description down below in the comments. Uh, I picked up The Woman in Black. What's it called? Angel of Death. Yeah. Now, I understand that Daniel Rad Radcliffe is not in this. Uh, so this must be a separate story. Uh, set in 1941, uh, The Mist of the Blitz. A group of children led by their young teacher uh, and hardened head, head mistress are evacuated to an abandoned eel marsh house so yeah i look forward i look forward to watching that one actually because i really did enjoy the first film i've heard that the second film is not as good as the first but for two pound i'm not that fast so yes we've got a slip cover not in brilliant condition but it's a slip anyway that's a slippy slip slip but there we go and uh we do have some nice artwork if i can spin it there we go some nice work there and yeah pretty good that's nice and clean have you noticed that some cex stores clean the discs whereas others just leave them so that is woman in black um angel of death uh next up we have a film with taron edgerton and hugh jackman and i have never seen this film uh i hear that taron edgerton Always gets praise for this film. And I remember this person, this personality, all growing up through my teenage years. Uh, this is Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, two pounds. This is 2016. A feel-good crowd-pleasing triumph. Um, but uh, I'm very intrigued on how Taron Edgerton does as Eddie the Eagle. Because everybody remembers Eddie the Eagle kind of like bumbling looking he looks like a nerd he looks like someone from revenge of the nerds with really thick glasses so i'm really interested to see how he pulls that off but uh yeah there we go so that is eddie the eagle and uh there's the disc 
and we have a digital code which expires in 2018. <laughs> Let's have a look at the old artwork and the disc. Yeah, that one fingerprint up the top there. That's not too bad. I'll give that a clean. So there we go. That is Eddie the Eagle. Uh, next up, uh, this was four pounds. I've not seen this film. Um, I, I I remember the trailer. It wasn't one that I was going to rush out to the cinema to watch, but I'm very in. I'm very interested in seeing it because it's inspired by the true story and it's got one hell of a cast. Um, it's House of Gucci for four pound. I mean, I'm seeing what am I saying? Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Jared Leto, Jeremy Irons, Al Pacino. Is that is that Jared Leto? Is that Jared Leto? I can't tell. Jeremy Irons. For a moment, I thought that was Martin Scorsese. <laughs> yes, uh, this is 2021. So, yeah, interesting to give this, give this a go. Is it Ridley Scott? I think, is it Ridley Scott? I'm pretty sure it's Ridley Scott. And uh, it does have some bonus features on the back there as well. And uh, we do have a bit of artwork on the inside there. And, uh, oh, that one's a bit, that one's a bit scuffier. Scuffier? Yeah. Scruffier. Yeah, so uh, I thought one needs a good claim. Yeah, House of Gucci. Yeah, I'll give that one a go. Uh, next up, uh, now this is a classic from 1970. Blimey, Paul, that's an old film for you. <laughs> only a day, be only a year before my birth. Um, and I wanted to see this. I have never seen this film. Um, yeah, this is a Blu-ray exclusive. This is Tora, Tora, Tora. Um, but this has got the extended Japanese cut on it. Yeah, this was uh, six pounds. Um, this riveting blockbuster is now even more exciting on Blu-ray. Uh, features extended Japanese cut over 10 minutes longer. Never before seen outside of Japan. Includes original theatrical trailer, high definition restoration from the original CinemaScope film elements. Uh, does have lots of special features there as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought, you know, got an extended cut. It's always worth paying a little bit extra to get an extended cut. It's 148 minutes. I think that's probably just the standard version. So just add, what, 10 minutes onto that. But uh, yeah, definitely want to give that one a go. And uh, some nice artwork there again. So look. Need to clean. Need to clean. And uh, of course you know what I'm going to say. Now you could go three ways with that. Black case, red case, white case. I'm thinking maybe black. Yeah, red maybe too much. Too much red. So I think I'll probably go for black case for that one. Okay. Uh, and the last one from CEX. Um, I picked this up because it had a near mint slip cover. This is The Conjuring. I love this film. This is a fantastic film. Um, and I was pretty sure I didn't have this in the collection. Uh, it's just £2. Look, just look at the edges. Look, it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yes. And uh, I went to the collection when I got home. And guess what? I've got The Conjuring with a slip cover. Yes, I really must start cataloguing my movies. <laughs> I was pretty sure I didn't have it with a slipcover. Um, but uh, there we go anyway. So um, if anyone wants one, let me know. If anyone wants a copy of The Conjuring with a slipcover, send me a message. Uh, you'll get the other one because um, this one's a much nicer slip. You know, the other one's still minty, kind of minty. But uh, I'm going to keep this one. But yeah, if you want Conjuring with a slipcover, send me a private message on Instagram uh, or, or Messenger with your address. Just send me your address details and I'll just pop it in the post. But uh, anyway, there we go. That is the Conjuring. It's only two quid with a voucher, so nothing lost. Uh, unfortunately, no artwork on that one. And uh, yeah, that's clean. 
plus a digital code that expires in 2015. Oh dear me. Right, okay, so that is the conjuring. Okay, right. Hang on, let me take a swig. Right, on to the HMV pickups. So we're going to start with this one first. This is on the 101 film label. It's a film by Tommy Lee Jones. Yes, this is, I can never pronounce this. This is the Three Burials of Melquades Estrada. Is that right? Melquades. Melquades, Est Melquades Estrada. I don't know. Uh, probably Lou would be able to say it properly. Uh, I do remember seeing this a long time ago. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I think this has only recently come out on Blu-ray. Uh, this was £14.99. So uh, let's have a look inside. I don't know if it comes with a booklet or anything like that. You know, it's not a big lavish special edition or anything like that. But uh, I do think it comes with some uh, special features. It's actually sticking to the top. The plastic's actually sticking to the, sl sticking to the top of the case. Oh dear. Okay, so there we go. It's fine, and there is the back. And uh, special features, commentaries with Tommy Lee Jones, Dwight Yoakam, and January Jones, director and writer interviews, extended, deleted scenes, making a featurette and the making of the music. Brilliant. And uh, one disc. There we go. And uh, a boring, plain boring white inside. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There's that one. So that's the three burials of Melquades Estrada. <laughs> oh, dear me. Okay. Uh, on to uh, the two main releases this week. So I have got Hallelujah. Uh, seen the trailer for this. I saw the trailer again yesterday. It looks really good. It looks funny. It looks my kind of thing. Kind of reminds me of Ricky Gervais's Derek in a way. I don't suppose this is funny, but uh, a rousing pop banging success. And um, we've got a big cast in this. I mean, first and foremost, we've got Jennifer Saunders, you know, in a leading role. So uh, I'm definitely interested to see what she does with the role. Uh, we also have David Bradley and uh, Derek Jacobi and Judy Dench as well, and uh, some other well-known characters, of, you know, actors and actresses. Um, Jennifer Saunders delivers a career-high performance. This is fourteen pound ninety-nine. Uh, it's got some special features: Alan Bennett featurette, NHS tribute featurette, original theatrical trailer, and a feature audio description. Fantastic and. Uh, there we go, it's a slim case. And uh, it's basically it says, Alleluia is a warm, humorous and deeply moving story about surviving old age. When the geriatric ward in a small Yorkshire hospital is threatened with closure, the hospi hospital uh, decides to fight back. Alleluia celebrates the spirit of the elderly patients while paying tribute to the deep humanity of the medical staff battling with limited resources and ever-growing demand. So that sounds good. Sounds like it might get a little bit of a tearjerker in places. Fantastic. And, um, oh dear me. Uh, Richard, I think you've got a case coming your way soon. <laughs> so I think that's two I've got so far for you. Let's have a look. Yeah, it feels very flimsy. I'm going to have to be careful with this one. There we go. Okay, one disc, just blue, boring blue. But yeah, you can see, very careful, take that out. There we go. Uh, okay, well, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm not having that. I'm not having it, no. Um, all of my eco cases that I get, um, I'm sending to Mr. Hollyoak, Mr. Richard. Mr. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> RH Media, yes. Um, so don't worry, Richard. You got some 
uh, you got a pile of eco cases coming your way soon. So there's that one. Uh, and of course, we've got to end on the biggie, haven't we? We've got to end on the biggie. We've got to end on Cocaine Bear on the 4K. Slightly different artwork than what was advertised because it's missing the black banner at the top with the Ultra HD 4K. I was expecting that, but okay, don't really matter. Uh, it does say 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray at the top anyway. Um, this comes with an alternate ending and uh, a maximum rampage edition. And it's really weird because we're lucky we're getting this because there is no 4K in the US at all. Weird. It's really weird. So if the Americans want a 4K, they've got to import it from here or, or maybe another country around the world. But anyway, yeah, um, I had to get this. This was a lot of fun. Belly laughs. I, I just really enjoyed it. I just really enjoyed it. And uh, you can see all, <laughs> all the antics there as well. £24.99. I'm interested to see why they're calling it the, max, the Maximum Rampage Edition to see what's included. Um, but we're going to open it up now. Let's just open it up. And uh, yeah, it came in one of these plastic wraps to keep it all protected. Weird. We don't normally get those. So where's the... Um, there should be a little tag here to pull. Is it that side? Yeah, you can see, you can see like the plastic little bit going around it. There, there is a bit there. So I think I might be able to pull pull that. Of course, I cut my fingernails this morning, didn't I? So I can't grab hold of it. Oh dear me, I can't do it. Oh dear. Hang on a minute. I think we're going to have to get Bobby Box Cutter. Yeah. Right, Bobby Box Cutter. How are you going to do this? Right, okay. Very carefully, because you don't want to bugger it. So let's just do that at the top. Okay, that'll do. It's just a, a very small nick at the top. Oh dear. Dear Lord. Right, okay, that's got it. I hope. Okay, okay, there we go. That's quite wrapped tight as, as well. Never has it been so difficult to get into a Blu-ray or a 4K. Okay, so there we go. So that's pulled off. Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, well, that looks nice. I love the design on that. Okay, so there we go. So... It does have like a, you know, shimmery effect. It's got a, not shimmery effect, glossy. That's it. Uh, we've got uh, Maximum Rampage Edition up the top there. And uh, includes alternate ending and uh, ratings logo down there, which is printed on. And uh, there's the spine. And there is the back. And uh, what else have we got on here? Uh, 96 minutes. Um... H, uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Does it mention anything on here about the, the the extended version? It says bonus features includes alternate ending, deleted and extended scenes, gag reel and more. So I don't know. I think I don't think this is an extended movie. I think the extended bit is just maybe in the special features. Uh, yes, it's got an alternate ending, but deleted and extended scenes. Yeah, so it's just the scene. So the film is still the same same length. Okay, um, there is the movie inside. Um, what I was going to suggest, if the 4K wasn't available, and anybody that picks up the standard Blu-ray, swap it out for a black case, because it'll look good. The Blu-ray will look good with a black case. Because look how good that looks. Yeah, fantastic. So there we go. So that's that. Oh, let's open it up. Uh, we do have two discs. Um, 
and we have different artwork on each. So on the 4K, we have the old bear's claws, and then we have the front cover on the Blu-ray as well. Fantastic. So yeah, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, even though maybe the movie's not an extended version of the movie, and that it's only in the special features, I'm happy that I've got that. Fantastic. So there we go. So that is Cocaine Bear, and we have Alleluia as well. And then what else have we got? We have the three burials of Mel Melquade's Estrada. What can they give him a normal name like John Smith? <laughs> we have the Conjuring, which <laughs> I've already got. What else? Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, they're all falling everywhere. Okay, and then we have Tora 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 with the Japanese extended cut. The House of Gucci. Eddie the Eagle. Woman in Black. Angel of Death. The Sixth Day. Ape versus Mecha. Mecha Ape. And Bullet Train Down. Fantastic. So that's a that's quite a pickup. That's quite a pickup. I wasn't expecting to pick that lot up today, but I'm happy with that lot that I've got. Fantastic. Okay, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed today's Blu-ray hunt. If you did, like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. Next week's Blu-ray hunt will be on Monday. Yes, normally I'm, I'm working Monday and Tuesday, so we wouldn't have been able to do it until Wednesday. But there are just so many good releases out next week that I just had to take the day off. You know, we've got Shazam, Fury of the Gods, uh, including the Steelbook. Uh, we've got the Fablemans, we've got the Cine Edition and all the regular editions. We've got Clear and Present Danger on 4K. Um, we've got 65 on 4K. There's loads coming out next week. So next Monday, uh, it will be the next Blu-ray hunt. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Until then, bye-bye.